to draw this adorable little flamingo? Then you need some paper to draw on, something to draw your doodle with, something to erase in case you make any mistakes on your doodle, and a marker to outline your doodle when you're finished drawing. And don't forget the paints, the colored pencils, the crayons, or the markers to add some color to your doodle when you are done. Let's get started. is we are going to either draw in your pencil or in your marker. I draw directly in my marker so you can see it and so I can skip a step, but I really recommend that you draw in pencil first. So the first thing we're gonna do is our flamingo's head and it's gonna be up here towards the top of our paper. So we are going to start with a nice curved line, almost like if I was going to make a circle. Oh, almost like I was going to make a circle, but I'm not gonna go all the way around. So I'm gonna come over here on this side and I'm gonna do the same thing. So now I have the nice round lines of his head. And this line right here is gonna come down and in almost like I'm making a question mark, like a backwards question mark. And then this line here is going to curve in here. So that way it kind of almost looks like maybe a worm, especially with my little black dots that I made accidentally. Now I'm gonna curve this part in and make like a little C shape and then I'm going to curl down and kind of match the line that I already had but I'm going to come down even further. So I kind of copied my line that was already there and then I continued down further. So I, this is his neck going into his chest. Now I'm going to turn my page and I'm going to come right here in this corner and I'm going to create a curved line. I'm going to come up and over and this is going to be the back wing area of my flamingo. And then down here on the bottom, I'm gonna kind of come up like I'm gonna meet that area, but I'm gonna leave it open because I wanna get some feathers in there. So I'm just gonna create a nice big U shape here, but I wanna leave an opening there. So now I'm gonna come down here and do my zigzags. And those are just to help it look like there's some feathers coming off of the back of my flamingo. I'm gonna come right here on his side and I'm gonna create a nice side feather. And you can make these pointy, I'm gonna make them rounded, but it's up to you how you wanna do those. You can make them pointy like his back feathers. You can even round the back feathers to kind of match those. Come back up to the front here and I'm gonna make a curved line that comes out and down. So out and down. But underneath, I'm not quite gonna match that, I'm gonna curve up then I'm gonna curve down. That way he has this little bump here in his beak. And then I'm gonna add a line, a nice curved line right there, and I'm gonna color that in black. And do not color it in with your pencil if you're using pencil. You can color that in with marker in a minute. And then his beak needs a little nostril dot on it. So super simple. Then his eye, I'm gonna have his eyes closed. So I'm gonna put my U-shape down, and if you wanna give it eyelashes or make it a girl, remember, if it's the U-shape, your lashes will point down. If it's a hill shape, your lashes are gonna point up. So now I've kinda of got the body of my little flamingo. So let's go again and give our flamingo those legs that are pretty classic for the flamingo. So I'm gonna start with a straight line down, and I'm gonna match that line. So I'm gonna give it two parallel lines going straight down. And then I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna give it a bump out kind of like where that joint is. And then I'm gonna come down again. Now I'm not gonna go all the way down to the bottom of my paper, I wanna stop. I'm not gonna draw his foot and I want him to look like he's in the water. So down here where I have this open end to his leg, I'm gonna do a slight curved line. And then I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna do another one, not quite touching, and then I'm gonna come in the other direction and do the same thing. And that's just to kind of make it look like a puddle. Like maybe there's some water kind of waving out from where he stepped in the water. 
So he's got one leg. Now he needs that second leg. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna come backward at an angle, two parallel lines. And then I'm gonna give that joint, that ball shape that's right here. And then I'm gonna come out. So we're kind of creating a V, kind of almost looks like a bubble letter V here. And then I'm gonna go through that leg and come out a little more and I'm gonna stop. So this line is longer than the bottom line and that's because I wanna draw his foot kind of hanging here. So his foot is just gonna be like any other bird that we've drawn with just the W with the additional U shape. And then we've got our little flamingo. Look at him standing in a puddle. Now we need to add a line in here to ground him into the water. So we don't have a line, he's just kind of got a weird, a weird design around his foot. So now we've got our little flamingo in the water standing. Maybe we can add some bushes or trees or something in the background for the water area. So maybe it's a lake and these are some nice trees. It's entirely up to you on how you want to do that. But I would add just a little something into the background just to give it a little extra. See how much extra we just did. So now I'm gonna cap up my marker and I'm going to put it to the side because I am done. But this is a great time for you to grab your marker and start outlining your doodle. And then grab your paints, your brushes, your crayons, your markers, your colored pencils, your oil pastels, whatever it is that you like to color in and add some beautiful color to your flamingo. Stick around and see how I add some color to mine. Look at how cute our little flamingo turned out. I love it. I added some nice light blue water, some little green bushes in the back, and I used a light color because I kind of felt like these were a little more tropical. So I wanted to keep my colors just a little bit on the light tropical side. I used a baby pink to color in my flamingo, and then I used a little bit of a darker pink to go in and add a little shadow. So that way his wing and his other feathers in the back here would kind of have a little more shape and form to them and they would stick out a little more. I also added a little shadow on this back leg so that way it didn't look like one shape that was broken up, but it looked like a shape that was behind another shape. So I hope that you had a great time drawing with me today. If you did, please like and subscribe to the videos and make sure to check back. I have new drawing videos and tutorials every single day. So come back and draw with me again. I hope you have an excellent day. Goodbye.